well, I guess this kind of had some leaks. I should I should rectify that. But hey, the Midnight Sun's finally got the gameplay reveal. Um, after we found out about it like a week ago. So, um, yeah. I, look, I, I get why people are disappointed. <laughs> I 100% get it. But at the same time, people that follow this channel and know the type of games I play and love, it shouldn't be a shock that I'm super hyped for this game. So... <laughs> I mean, it's it's something. The only thing that why why it's getting flack is for the major, majority of everything. It's it the, the battle system. It's, yeah, it's card based, and people don't people don't like really like card based um, battle systems because uh, you can't really you, you can't really Q and A all the strategies because the with that type of system you can't really break the game and not make it fun. It's just not engaging. That's I think that's purely all it is. Like card, like you know, turn-based gameplay has very quickly died out. Yeah. Over the last like two decades. So, also I think now that that sort of like especially card games like that seem more mobile, and mobile yeah. games don't have a great reputation. No one really cares about them in the grand scheme of things, apart from like old white women playing Candy Crush twenty four seven. Yeah. Yeah, as because like, I, I thought it was going to be like one of those classic uh, strategic RPGs, but now you're using cards to fight, and like they're adding some of that um, RPG element too, to where you have to spend time with your characters to get them stronger with more, with better cards and stuff. Right. Yeah. Mm. No, like the the whole Midnight Sun like thing is. It, it appeals to me because I like the gameplay direction you're going in because it is different. Like, if it would have been just another third-person action game, it's like, there's so many Marvel games like that. Like, at least we're getting some variety and strategy. Like, yeah. I, I think it's yeah. going to be kind of cool to plan out. It's like, oh, I'm playing as Nico, and here's her power, and I brought her on my team. That changes the yeah. complete layout of the game, the level, how I approach the situation, and that's the XCOM that's, formula that I really do love. Well, so. well yeah. that's the thing. Well, that's the thing, because um, from what I've from what I've seen, so even some XCOM fans are kind of worried about this because you can only have three uh, three man teams going into battle, mm -hmm. and you also have your original character, the hunter. <laughs> this uh, is that. Yeah. And that's the one thing that's kind of weird for me was that they're having an original character for the game called the hunter it can either be a male or female and it's fully customizable too so you, you can uh, have it play like i'm assuming you have to have the hunter with you on on your team mm -hmm. and you can uh, yeah. customize them to what your play style that, that reminds me of that x-men uh, rpg a while back yes and you know, I'm glad you bring that up because they kind of spin it this way. They're like, for the first time ever, create your own Marvel superhero. I'm like, oh, yeah. Destiny oh. let you? <laughs> I, I never got into that game. So. It, it was bad. It was just Is that bad. the one that got, like, pulled off shelves? Oh, yeah. For whatever reason, yeah. yeah. Yep. It, was, it, yeah. Was, it stunk so bad, man. It's all bad. Like, janky. And... Yeah, it was like... They said, ooh, you have a choice to make your own character. There's only three choices. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did have choices. Of, I mean, it's just very limited. It's it, it was a weird game. Not really, you know, worth it. Like, nobody wants to play a game. and They only want to play it as the characters. They never... I, I don't know. At least for me, I don't want to play a, a, an original character. I want to play one of the other characters. Like the... <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of the whole point, right? You're buying a superhero going to play as a superhero. Like, right. right. That's what I loved about Ultimate Alliance, you know, where it was just like, you you, you could play as your favorite character. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's like, and that's, and that's kind of the thing, the new Midnight Suns game, it will allow you to a degree to play as all the characters, but just like, mm. you know, you have Blade on your team or... Iron Man, you're like, oh, you could play as them during the missions, and that's cool because you play as your whole team. But then, outside of that, you are the Hunter, which is this like ancient <laughs> character. Or, yeah, yeah, it's like, uh, you know, it's. I mean, I'm still gonna play it. It's a Marvel game. It's by the XCOM team. I can't wait. But if people aren't excited, I'm not gonna be like, well, you should be. It's like, no, this is. They are putting a niche, niche. in a niche. Like. <laughs> 
and they're bringing back the the Richard Ryder. Uh, I mean, it's Richard Ryder, but the uh, um, Riot the Reyes uh, Ghost Rider. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, because that's the interesting thing for me, like the whole, the fact that it's Midnight Suns as a whole, and you know, yeah. it's how do well, we stop it being Suns as in a, a, a boy child? Yeah, like, it's, yeah. oh, it's gonna be Suns like... as in the big fireball. Like, yeah. I see that sneaky rebranding you've done just then, and why would it be? Uh, it's, oh, something's yeah, was, gonna happen. Yeah. Yeah, I was surprised too. They brought they brought Robbie Reyes back because I've seen all. So I saw all over. I saw all over Twitter. It was funny because he crawled. That's not. That's not the original Ghost Rider. Was yeah. This? <laughs> There's a reason. There's a reason. Exactly. Wink, yeah. wink. Nudge, nudge. Yeah, we got the reasons here. But overall, I don't want to spend too much time talking about Midnight Suns. People are already talking about it enough. When we get more gameplay, more extensive looks, and more polished gameplay, I'll talk about it a bit. But until then, you know, I guess keep your eyes out for it and look forward to the new Guardians game coming out in like mm. less than two months. So I say my my excitement for this game is purely on what it's going to do for other media yeah. yep yep <laughs> yeah. the name and the characters that like, oh, seems cool. to be a lot of people <laughs> yep yep